Welcome back, everybody. You are still watching Cape Rugby TV. We keep talking club rugby and, of course, the extensions thereof, uh, which stretches from clubs to uh, varsity cups, into the under-20s, into the Curry Cup, into the Stormers. There's so many different extensions, of course, coaching and administration and, and, and so on. Um, we went down to uh, CPUT to uh, get some of the guys behind the scenes. Um, Danny, CPUT has been working very hard in the last few years to get into, into the Varsity uh, Cup itself. A uh, lot of success, a lot of growth at CPUT at the moment. Definitely, JP. <coughs> Our motto in, for Varsity Cup is Western Province must have four universities playing there. Yeah. And so CPUT has won that competition twice already. So we, we're hoping that everything goes well, that we can have the fourth team uh, in the Varsity Cup. But they've been doing a lot of good work um, over the last few years. Uh, and as Jerome has mentioned earlier, a number of players at CPUT that have had exposure at the HBC, we be happy for that pathway too. And we don't see CPUT as the fourth university we see it as one of our universities playing in high competition 100 percent. let's take a look at some of the highlights from training we went down there last night um uh, yeah let's take a look yeah it's a new year after a very long time after a very tough final it's been it's been it's been great to be back at the field. It's great. It's been great to be the guys, the vibe. Uh, we're just grateful to to be given the opportunity to play again and to have fun and do what we love. Since last year, so we started with the off-season training last year, and we have some new management on the team, uh, new guys coming in, uh, old guys going out. So we're doing just the reshuffling, but we still have senior players. Obviously, the new management. We've got young blood, somebody you can relate to. So, so at least we don't, we don't, we don't have a tent or we shot somewhere, we're still there, we're still there. We just have new guys, it's nice man, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice, always nice to have new guys, new energy, same energy but on another level. We champs, we know that we have, we have the target on our back, so it's tough, it's tough for us. We need, as a champ, so you always have up your level, up your level, because every guy is trying to keep up with you. So having the new guys, new vibes, new ideas, fresh minds, New Year, it's, it's, it's great, man. It's great. The guys are on park. Uh, the guys are feeling the vibe. The guys have energy. But if you can look at it closely, we don't have time. That's why we started early last year. So we don't have time, but obviously we have a uh, few weeks, I think four weeks, uh, till we play again. So we still have to work hard, make sure that we grasp every opportunity that we have. And every little chance that we have, we come to the field, we work on our, on our, on our, on our game. Kijk, het was bij hem moeilijk met COVID geweest. Ons het niemand had meer gespeeld, die allemaal in die huis zijn. Um, het was nice om te geweten dat ons kon nie geleentheid kreeg om in die bubble te gaan spelen met die Vaasti Shield. En als je moet kijken, die klapmannen, hulle gaan nou eens beginnen spelen. En dat is heel erg moeilijk als jij een sportliefhebber is. Maar het is heel erg goed om terug te wees en het is amper zo so altijd nou achter die rug en ons zien nou net voor en toe. Ja, nee, het is maar net een mindkie basis wat ons afvaart het voor die Christmas. Was het was basically nice, van ze kan een beetje mind van die raak bijval. Maar het, het voelt heel erg great om terug te wees. Coaches het ons aangemoedig om allemaal actief te blijven in die Christmas en niet net gaming te eten en op een schat te zitten. Maar ons allemaal is hier net like die mannen er heel erg opgeofferd die vakantie om fucks te blijven. Ja, nee, als ik zelf moet zeggen, die coaching is topklaas hier. Coach Jelly, Coach Jongi wat de Sprungbok was en even Jerome Paar wat er wat die Curry Cup coach is. Het so, is heel erg mannen wat raak bekend en as ons als spelers kan net vat van de laaf om voor ons beter te maken en om die span te verbeter. Ons in baie uit, jy weet, is een maand aan so te sê. Het voel ver, maar het is er heel erg hiervan, het is ook maar limited. Een um, aantal oefensessies wat ons in het, maar één ding is verzekerd, ons gaan ons alles geven en gaan zo so hard werken als wat ons kan. Ik moet zeggen, het is een baie lekker gevoel om te richten op die oefenviaat, om die spelers te zien, allemaal is opgewonden, allemaal zijn uit voor die toernooi wat op pad is. Zo so, ja, dat is dat. Ik moet zeggen, in het begin was het baie moeilijk, want ons het deur gedrukt, daar was kroom, ding op ons pad, in die precies, maar Allemaal die boodje deeggedruk en dat is waar ons is. Nieuwe jaar, nieuwe dingen en ons zien uit voor die nieuwe toernooi. Die nieuwe mannen klom energie, so ja, ons zien uit om 
Well, let us see if we had. But I'll bring that party to the South Ocean. See beauty. Ocean. I'm looking for 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 Ocean. Ja, we zien uit. We zijn drie dagen een week. Soms zaterdag zo. Ik geloof dat al genoeg is. Coaches gaan alles inwerken. Die take your systems. Zo is moet net go. Yeah, look, I think uh, firstly we were very, we were privileged to to be able to train and play. You know, that's 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 the first fault. Um, it wasn't an easy road building up to, to the tournament. Um, during the tournament it was tough because it was unknown for the players. So it was all about adapting to the unknown. Um, luckily for us, um, we had quite a expedient squad last year, um, which pulled through during, during the tournament. And we had a good um, coaching staff and management staff who worked closely together to make sure that the boys were really on and off the field. Because it's not just about the rugby on the field, we need to manage their studies as well, because they need X amount of credits. For, for them to be able to play. So it was challenging, but um, at the end of the day, we pulled it through and we were fortunate enough to win the tournament. Yeah, look, so we've got, let me see, 11 players of the 38-man squad who participated in the previous tournament. Of that 11 players out of our match day 23, we have six players left. Um, so it's a total new, re uh, it's a total rebuild, um, but that's vastly rugby for you. You have a player for three to four, sometimes five years, you know, and then the young, then, then the new cycle starts. But I must say, we've got some energetic, some skillful, some willing boys. So I'm excited about the about the road ahead and the rebuild for the university and the team. So we had a nine-week off-season, October into uh, mid-October into into December. There was challenges with um, training times, transport, fields, and that because at one stage we, we never had access to our facility. But nevertheless, um, the boys stuck together, and when we eventually could access our facility, um, everybody just committed to the process and the plan um, for the off-season. So we worked quite hard in that off-season. We had a, a, a three, four-week break. We were supposed to start last week, um, but with a bit of a delay, we only started um, this evening. Um, but the boys came back tonight, and they were full of energy. I think that lengthy break, you know, gave me a bit of anger to get back onto the field. Yeah, look, uh, four weeks, one month is not a lot of time to prep. Um, but I'm sure with us, if we just stick to our processes and our plan, we should be ready. Um, it's, it's a new it's a new sphere or venture for a lot of these new boys that came, that's coming in. So they, 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 it's unknown for them, this, this vast shield. But I'm sure we'll, 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 we'll try and, and do our best in the competition. You know, um, and it's all about following the pro sticking to our plan and following the processes, building up to the competition. Right, well, folks, um, of course, as you know, uh, every week uh, we give you an opportunity to win yourself a case of Score Energy drinks as well as a set of Cape Rugby TV masks. All you need to do is go to our Facebook page and go and enter the weekly competition. Every week we take your club logo, we make some changes, we ask you to spot the logo. This week we took Atlantis Rugby Football Club, we made some changes and saw if you could identify the logo. Congratulations to Alexander Swanepoel. Alexander, you walk away with a case of Score Energy drinks. Of course, there you can see the Score logo behind me right now, as well as a set of masks courtesy of CTC Sports. We'll be in touch with you via Facebook, and uh, you can come and collect your case of Score Energy drinks. So, folks, if you want to enter the same competition, www.facebook.com forward slash Cape Rugby TV. Just jump in there and uh, see if you can identify the logo. We'll take a break. When we come back, we carry on talking club rugby. Back in a sec.